as I mentioned in my last video that explained the neat algorithm and how it works kind of I said that I would implement it uh, together with my with a game that I made so this is my first uh, ever game uh, in Python uh, made with Pygame and it's based on the Dino T-Rex uh, Google Chrome offline game I don't know what's it, what it's called but yeah so I started with making all the sprites and get the basic game down and I as you can see here I'm jumping with space and uh, I made it so it should work with uh, implementing the um, different uh, generation and uh, all that so the next part was to basically bring in each uh, generation populated with uh, genomes uh, that each control one dino and that can uh, yeah, basically jump uh, if an obstacle is uh, coming too close the first iteration of the game uh, I populated each generation with uh, 20 genomes and they each control uh, a dinosaur that it can make a jump or not jump and the input I gave them is uh, the distance to the obstacle so it will over time learn when to jump and when to not jump the longer they stay alive the better fitness that they get so each generation is then populated with the genomes with the best fitness and mutations of uh, those genomes. Here you can see the second version of the game where I I mess around with the jump I think yeah, so it would jump more smoothly. Uh, I didn't quite get that but I think you can see that it actually can jump in different heights but the AI doesn't really um, care about that apparently. Uh, it just does uh, the max jump all the time So this is the third version of the game where I implemented um, a second obstacle uh, which is a flying dinosaur and I made the dinosaur able to uh, duck as you can see here um, So I added some duck animation or sprites and uh, stuff like that But here's the problem with this um, why wouldn't the dinosaur always duck? Um, I mean, it can, but that's not what I would do if I played the game. So I wanted it to be as close as a human as possible, so I made it that it, if it ducked, it got, uh, for each frame, it got a reduced fitness. Not much, but so it would prefer to actually stand up while running and only duck if it needs to duck. So it's time to fast forward a bit and see how it learns. I also forgot to mention that I added the Roblox death sound every time uh, a dinosaur dies, which was a huge mistake I would say. So in Generation 13 is where they first face the flying dinosaur and they die. They need to figure out uh, that they should duck or jump over the dinosaur. In generation 20 they actually managed to pass the flying dinosaur by jumping over it which is cool but I wanted to go under it at least sometimes Ooh. I also messed up the collision somehow because here it apparently can go through the flying dinosaur I don't know what that's about but I think it's going to mess up uh, how it learns because if it thinks that it can go through why would it duck and finally at generation 26 it actually ducks under but 
it always stuck, so <laughs> I guess that's a thing, but it seems to be working. But eventually they stopped, learned to duck and uh, yeah, proceeded to uh, walk straight through the birds, which is not intended, as you can see. So I actually made a, I think, third version of the game, uh, as you can see here, uh, where I actually made some alteration to it. I made so they can also go uh, forward uh, to the left and to the right and I made so they flip this uh, sprite when they jump because why not and I added uh, the actual net that uh, the best genome had in the last generation so you can uh, see it uh, you, you can see the red dots there so the uh, three red dots to the left or circles is uh, the input uh, nodes and the circles to the right is the output nodes you can see the connection between uh, the uh, inputs and outputs and you, you will see how they evolve over time just as last time they actually tries to jump over the dinosaur um, before they learn to duck under it um, which I guess could work uh, but I think it's more efficient to actually duck under it in most cases and in generation 8 they actually managed to duck uh, but always duck though so we're not there yet. And finally, at generation 16, they managed to duck and then stand up, which is a huge accomplishment by this point. Uh, I can't believe that it took so long. Uh, in other runs, it had actually developed this uh, much earlier. But it seems uh, to be doing pretty good. And it uh, stands up immediately after the um, obstacle is uh, behind it. So, yes. I call this a success um, and uh, let's just see how far we can actually get uh, within 100 generations or so. In generation 30 we actually get a new node uh, in between the inputs and outputs and what that does I don't know but I guess it uh, does some computing that uh, benefits the actions in some way
Generation 98, we will get the best score uh, that we got over all generations. Um, and I don't think it can be better than this because of how I made the game. I think I sped up the game too uh, fast and uh, I should base the, in the spawns of the obstacles uh, of the speed, I guess, so it doesn't make the game impossible. But it really seems that the game is impossible at this point, so I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, yeah, don't blame the AI, blame the game maker, I guess. I mean, look how fast this is going. It, it barely lands before it has to jump. So, yeah, it, it seems impossible to me, at least. I will leave the code below, so you can try it out yourself. Uh, just download files and uh, run it in Python. You should be good to go. Uh, make sure to install all libraries that is included in the project. And, um, yeah, I should say that uh, I think I made the game pretty dumb, uh, it's not how you usually should do it, but I'm not a game developer, so if you are, maybe give, uh, give me some tips, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I'm going to be uploading another project I made, another game, uh, which is like uh, a jumping game where you just jump on platforms uh, going higher and higher, so that should be fun. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, if you, if you like this video, you should maybe subscribe, give it a like, and I will see you in the next video.